Hello. As a student at Iowa State, it is important for you to have knowledge about and an understanding of the sexual misconduct involving students policy. This brief learning module will provide you with information about the policy and how to report a concern of sexual misconduct. ISU expects all of its students to be familiar with this policy. ISU also requires all students to complete a more detailed training on these topics, which is available via Access Plus. This presentation will cover where to find the sexual misconduct involving students policy, help you understand what consent means under university policy, where to report a concern, what to expect when you report a concern, and support and resources available for all students. Before we begin talking about the policy, it is important for all students to know that Iowa State has appointed Margot Foreman as the university's Title IX coordinator. In this role, Margot oversees compliance with federal Title IX legislation, including the efforts to reduce any educational impacts of sexual harassment or other Title IX related behaviors, and, as warranted, the investigation of sexual misconduct reports. Margot is located in the Office of Equal Opportunity, and she can be contacted at eoffice at iastate.edu or in person at 3410 Beardshire Hall. The sexual misconduct policy is a part of the student disciplinary regulations. Sexual misconduct is a broad term that includes any unwelcome and unreasonable behavior of a sexual nature that is committed without consent or by force, intimidation, coercion, or manipulation. Consent is often at the core of any sexual misconduct allegation, so it is important that students take the time to understand the university's policy on consent and how to obtain consent. Consent is an informed, voluntary, and active agreement through affirmative words or actions and mutually understandable to all parties involved to engage in a specific sexual act at a specific time. The person giving consent must have the capacity to do so. Specifically, people who are asleep, unconscious, involuntarily restrained, incapacitated due to the influence of drugs, medication, or alcohol, those unable to communicate consent due to a mental or physical condition, those who have a bodily impairment or handicap that substantially limits their ability to resist or flee, and persons not of legal age to consent are unable to consent. For more information about sexual misconduct, the policy, and consent, visit sexual misconduct from the index of the main Iowa State webpage and select What is Sexual Misconduct? Definitions and links to the policy and relevant procedures can be found there. Individuals who have a sexual misconduct related concern have options when it comes to reporting. Individuals can choose to report to the university, to the police, both, or neither. The university strongly encourages any student with knowledge about a possible violation of the sexual misconduct policy to report that violation to the Office of Equal Opportunity immediately. Making a report does not require the individual who experienced the conduct to move forward with a formal investigation or participate in any criminal or university process. Students can report any incident that may be a violation of the sexual misconduct policy. To encourage reporting, an individual who makes a good faith report of sexual misconduct will not be subject to disciplinary action by the university for a lesser conduct or policy violation such as improper use of alcohol or drugs, that is related to or revealed in the course of such a report. Although there is no time limit on the reporting of a violation of the sexual misconduct policy, the university may be unable to adequately investigate if too much time has passed for reasons such as limited ability to obtain evidence or to interview witnesses or other involved parties, as time can impact the ability to remember or accurately recall a situation and some students may have graduated or otherwise left the institution. Students can report an incident to the Office of Equal Opportunity, ISU Police, or any Dean of Students Office staff. Students can also report to other staff or faculty members on campus. University staff not designated as confidential do have an obligation to share your report with the Office of Equal Opportunity. Additional information concerning confidential reporting options and resources will be discussed in the coming slides. To file a report directly with the Office of Equal Opportunity, students should call 
294-7612 or email eoffice at iastate.edu. When a concern of sexual misconduct is reported, the student who experienced the sexual misconduct will receive an outreach from the Office of Equal Opportunity. If the student chooses to meet, Equal Opportunity will explain the available options, including informal and formal resolution options, identifying resources, sources of support, and possible remedies. Students are not required to participate in any university or investigation process. However, the university may be required to take steps towards ensuring campus safety. For additional information and details, please visit the Sexual Misconduct Resource Guide located on the Sexual Misconduct website and consult the policy. The Office of Equal Opportunity, in collaboration with the Dean of Students Office and the Title IX Response Committee, may recommend and implement supportive and interim measures as requested and reasonable based on the information available and the circumstances of the complaint. Such measures may include, but are not limited to, academic assistance, housing and workplace adjustments, working class scheduling adjustments, dining arrangements, parking and transportation adjustments, restricted contact notices, and counseling. Feeling safe often contributes to your overall experience and success at Iowa State. The Iowa State Police Department is available to meet with students to discuss safety planning that is specific to your situation. If you have been impacted by an incident of sexual misconduct and want to speak with someone confidentially, Iowa State has options for you. It is important for you to know that by speaking with a confidential resource on campus, your incident will not be reported to the Office of Equal Opportunity unless you specifically request they do so. The only confidential resources on campus are Teeland Student Health Center, Student Counseling Services, and Student Legal Services. Additionally, the Margaret Sloss Women's Center and the Center for LGBTQIA Student Success serve as campus confidential resources. For more information about confidential, campus confidential, and non-confidential but private reporting sources, students should refer to the Sexual Misconduct Resource Guide located on the Sexual Misconduct website and within the policy. This was a very brief overview of the sexual misconduct involving students policy and reporting process at Iowa State University. As a student, we want to ensure that you are informed and knowledgeable about this and other university policies. We encourage you to take the time to explore the many resources available on our website and ask questions. For more information or questions regarding today's presentation, please contact any of the departments listed on the screen. Thank you.